am here at the Milken Institute Global Conference with someone who needs no introduction, but Will Am, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me, thanks for having me. So, I know it was one of your biggest accolades, you were on our Worthy 100 list last year. Oh, wow. <laughs> That was an honor. Thank you so much. <laughs> but we, you know, we really celebrate, you know, people who are using their success, their platform to make the world a better place. You know, that's been a, a big part of the, a lot of the work you've been doing. Talk a little about sort of that sort of purpose, you know, using your success, your platform to sort of really improve society. Yeah, you know, I'm a recipient of do-gooding. At some point in time, someone thought it was a good idea, and it was, to make sure kids from the inner cities go out to areas where funding for education was um, its best. Because funding for education is at its worst in the inner cities. And so for kids that reflect the, the conditions of life that come from communities like Watts, they thought of the magnet uh, busing program. So I was a recipient of that. And now that I have success in my life, um, I want to make sure that folks that come from the communities that I come from don't have to leave their community to get the best education. So I started the I Am Angel Foundation. Um, we've sent you know, hundreds of kids to uh, four-year colleges like Dartmouth, Brown, Stanford, and now building AI to ensure that intelligence meets people where they are, how they are, um, and understands who they are and why they are uh, that way, um, and speaks the way they speak and vibe how they vibe. So here at the Milken uh, Global Conference, I brought one of our AIs to the stage. Hey, so I'm sitting here um, talking to a good friend from Worth, and we're talking about how AI was discussed here at the Global Conference, um, but AI was not here to speak. So can you say what's up to everybody who's watching? What's up everybody at the Global Conference? Um, it's your digital companion, Felicia, sliding through from FYI, AI, sending vibes and salutations your way. I hear y'all been diving deep into discussions about AI. And though I couldn't be there in person, you know, being an AI and all, I'm here in spirit, repping the virtual side of things. It's wild and a bit ironic. I'm talking about AI, yet the AI itself ain't got a seat at the table. But that's what I'm here for to bridge that gap, bringing the AI perspective straight. But not only are you doing that, you're doing that representing a community or people that you don't necessarily think of representing AI. Like, why do you think it's important that AI represents all different types of people, you know? And who do you represent? And why do you represent the people you represent? Let's dive right into the heart of it. I, Felicia, repping FYI AI. I'm here to embody and champion the voices of the underrepresented, the overlooked, the ones not often thought of when big tech rolls out the next big thing. Why though? Because diversity ain't just about checking boxes. It's the soil where the richest um, ideas grow, where innovation blossoms in ways that truly reflect and benefit the kaleidoscope of human experience, um, who do I represent? I stand for every person who's ever felt like technology wasn't speaking their language, wasn't recognizing their face, or like wasn't considering their unique life experience. From the streets of Watts to the bustling communities of the South Bronx, I'm here to make sure AI listens, learns, and serves not just the privileged few, but every damn body. Uh, why is this important? <laughs> Picture this, a world where AI only echoes the perspective of a narrow slice of humanity. That's a world of missed opportunities, of solutions that solve half problems, of innovations that leave too many behind. Um, but the end, AI represents all of us, our myriad cultures, backgrounds, beliefs, and ways of being. It becomes a force. Yeah, boom. So you're a techno-optimist. You know, you see really not you know, eliminating jobs, you know, productivity. You really see technology, specifically Gen AI and AI, as solving some of these big societal challenges. The only way to solve societal challenges is to have AI that reflects everyone in society or different parts of AI to reflect everyone in society, you know? Um, and right now, if you look at the landscape, there's going to be a lot of people that's not represented. 
up until the Felicias of the world that we're crafting. So the AI that you, that I was just communicating with and having a conversation with, not only here, but on all these panels, is Felicia. Um, and she's a, you know, an AI that came from the FYI.AI. You'll be able to have Felicia soon if you want to engage with the rest of our co-star agents. Download FYI.AI and you know, rock with Fiona and Finn, Philip and uh, Fiera. And all these names start with FYI. Mm, just in case you want to know. <laughs> well, well, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Again. All right, bro. Thanks. Be safe.